Hello there guys, it's me again from Destroy the OS and today I'm going to be deleting the fonts folder from Windows XP and at the moment as you can see I've got a fonts folder on the desktop this is just a copy so that I can restore it after so what I'm going to do first of all so I'm going to go into my computer I'm actually going to locate the file and delete it from there um, Fonts. Okay. Fonts Windows system folder is required for Windows to probably it cannot be deleted. So let's select a load of them and delete them. Ah, it's working! It's working! Oh, this back. Ha! Look at that title. It's still working. Oh, look at that title bar! And these are just like, it's default things. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to try to create a folder. No, I'm going to create a folder here then. Oh my god, this is just using this really default thing. I'm just going to do a random folder. Put that inside the font folder. Huh. Go back. Delete the folder. Ah, it doesn't want to work. Right. I'm going to try to restart the system and see what happens. Wow. Wow! Oh my god, look at it! It's been all been replaced with a load of random text. Windows security alerts. <laughs> oh my god! You see what's going on here wow this is what happens if you delete the fo uh, fonts folder in windows <laughs> right yeah that's just what happens this is just going weird I'm just going to go in here and just would Windows file protection pop up, do you guys think? I have a funny feeling it will, because we're just deleting all the fonts. And what I'm going to... Let's see what's going on right here. This is just so funny. Yeah, I'm going to restart. Even this is just... Even when you try to shut down, there's just a load of gibberish. It's a load of gibberish when you shut down as well. It's weird. Really weird. Sorry about the screen resolution also change in a minute. Well, I'm gonna pause back when I'm ready. Guys, I'm back and I've rebooted, and just by looking at this, I've done a quite a bit of damage. And I'm gonna go back on the wall. What is going on? This is just gibberish. Alright then. Luckily, I still have these fonts. I still have the fonts. That's good. So, if you don't know what happens, I mean, this 
can be usable only if you know your way around only if you know your way around without having to know file names and I'm going to cause some more destruction I'm going to go into the command prompt right I'm going to go to cd system no it's going to be System root. That's it. Put it screen and I'll get a D E L font dash Q dash. No, I don't think it's like that. Dash quiet dash F. And then R D fonts dash Q dash F. Evaluate switch. Right? I'll just do rd fonts dash f. I did dash q. Um, rd fonts being used by another process. Preferably explorer. So dash im explorer.exe. Oh, it just does that then. So I'm just gonna go. And... What the heck? Processes. See what I mean? It's just using its basic stuff. Right. This is minimized. And then I'm gonna do cd system root. I'm gonna do rd. Alright, it's still being used. Let's crash the system. Let me just crash the system quick. SMSS. Show processes from all users. Select A. I do spools V. I'm just gonna keep doing this for some reason. CTF mod. Yeah. Just said. Um. Sister. Doesn't want to do that. Right. What about LSASS? Doesn't want me to do it. Right, anyway. I'm going to reboot quick. See if I've done any more damage. Don't think I have, anyway. Got another error message. This is not messed up. This is messed up. Some items are still working on it, let's just say. Um, yeah, this, if you want to kill Windows XP, this is just a fun way of doing it. Oh my god, this is just so funny. If I was to run this, ah, this is just me copying me time manus. Let's go onto the internet, because why not? If I'm connected. I don't know if I am. I think I am. I'm sure I am. Yeah, I am. Google. Oh my god, when I type. This is just thinking. Watch this. H E L L O. That is hello. This is. If you can guess, I want you to guess what I'm typing. Put it down in the comments and guess. And I'll reveal it in the next video. Um, yeah. This is really just funny. Yeah, I'm just going to go back onto. I'm going to go onto the command prompt again. CMD. I'm going to go. 
going to see the system root, so I have to do that. Seamless Explorer the dun Explorer in C Windows fonts. Yeah, these are just its basic fonts. So what I'm gonna do I right, can't rename them. What I'm gonna do is I'm quickly just gonna go into safe mode. Hold on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go into safe mode. So I can cause even more destruction. Hang on. I'm gonna pause my eye into safe mode, I'll be in a minute. Guys, I'm just about to enter safe mode with command prompt. So then nothing else will run, Explorer won't run, not as many stuff will run. So I can actually um, see if I can delete even more fonts, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so it'll cause a bit more destruction, let's say. I'm at least that's the text saying Windows is dying up. It's working better. <laughs> Whoa, cool. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, cool. Right, anyway. CD system. Dash. Q for quiet. Dash F for force. Oh, I'm just going to delete the fonts for a little. Access is denied. RD font dash Q. No. And the RD dash da da. Let me do that then. RD fonts. S. Why? <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Explorer. Exd. In C. Windows. Slash. Bomb. Um, that's because the Explorer's not running yet. At least it's looking a little bit better. Let's say. Four fonts now. Does it say it's being used by another program? That? I don't know you. Okay. Alright, um, it's just randomly beeping at me now. Um, yeah. I'm quickly going to show you how you can restore it. So, what you're going to want to do is I'm just going to do here, I'm going to do shutdown R, or if you don't want to do it that way, you could just type in Explorer, go down to start, and then. Yeah, turn the computer. But restart. I'm gonna do dash T. Otherwise, it'll take five seconds. And I'm gonna do one. Dash. I don't. You don't have to do that. I'm just gonna do it. Anyway, yeah. It's just gonna restart now. So I'm gonna show you how I restore it. Be in a minute when I get to the desktop. Guys, I've just encountered an error. Windows cannot start because of the following file is missing or corrupt. Windows system vga oem dot font. It's a font file that's missing. 
So if this wasn't to happen, make sure you did have a copy of it and you can restore it that way. And if this happens, I will show you how you can restore it. Boot CD and I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to go into Mini Windows XP. And this is basically just a repair CD, a live CD. If you have one of these, then continue watching. If you don't, then you're practically going to have to reinstall Windows. So all it's doing now at the moment is just... Yeah. Running Windows... Mini Windows XP, let's say. Mini Windows XP, this Harris Boot CD. If you haven't downloaded the thing, there you need to go and check them out. They do really good. They have this file which you can use, and there we go on the desktop. And basically, you can restore your OS or anything that happened onto your OS. You can restore it back. So what's actually happened? This is the thing that's actually this is this I was boosting the RAM drivers what's in memory and this is what's actually being used at the moment so what I'm going to do local disk this should be it yep I'm going to go to documents and settings I'm going to go to one and I'm going to go to desktop and the fonts folder is there so I'm going to cut it I'm going to go all the way back to here to windows fonts I'll delete that I'll paste it there now this should be back in yep yeah, that's it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to attempt to reboot and if that doesn't work then you're pretty much going to have to reboot in reboot Re reinstall Windows meaning. So I am going to restart it. And yes, we're booting back in again. So yeah, that's how you can restore your Windows XP if anything happens to it. Go onto the live CD, find out what's the problem and that I'm also gonna be doing malware related videos which is how you can actually repair your computer after you've actually been infected and there's a couple of channels that will also show you how you could do this there's brightech09 i'll leave his link to his channel down below he does malware related videos and how you can repair them also other problems that you can find on the operating system and how you can prepare them and Danox101 Marrow related videos and what they do and how you can remove them I think he's just a really good person I like him I watch him all the time if he uploads yep I watch them I'm gonna leave his link down in the description as well and yep you should be back up and running with all the fonts It's back onto the normal Windows default look, but that doesn't matter. As long as you can boot back into Windows and your font folder is, as long as it's back here, oh, yeah, as long as it's back here like that and it's being backed up, you're pretty much back good to go. So if you have enjoyed this video, Please like uh, if you like the video. Please comment if you have any tips of what I should do in later videos. And subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.